Yes, and uh, the Temple Mount, also known as the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, is among the holiest sites to both Judaism and Islam and has been at the center of recent violence in Jerusalem. I-24 News correspondent Shai Ben-Ari was there earlier this week and got a rare close-up glimpse of the tense situation at the site, the beating heart of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The Temple Mount known to Muslims as the Haram al-Sharif, or Noble Sanctuary. It is holy to both Jews and Muslims, and in recent weeks, it's again been the focal point of violence and tension between the citizens of Jerusalem. In the days leading up to the Jewish holiday of Yom Kippur, some religious Jews make a tradition of ascending to the Temple Mount, which also houses the Al-Aqsa Mosque. But most rabbis forbid the entrance of Jews to the compound on religious grounds, and this group was debating the point up until the last minute. Just before entering, they prayed, overlooking the Western Wall, as the Muslim Waqf authorities do not allow non-Muslim prayers on the compound itself. As we entered, we immediately saw a group of Waqf officials sitting near the gate. The Waqf is the Muslim council charged with custodianship of the compound, as per the delicate status quo. Journalists aren't allowed in. Okay. We had to film this footage with cell phones. A professional television camera would have been out of the question. At first, we attempted to tour the compound alone. This is the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the building at the center of tensions here on the mount. Damage to the doors sustained during the recent clashes is still visible. Last week, Palestinian youths barricaded themselves within the Al-Aqsa Mosque itself and clashed with Israeli police. Things were not as violent this week. Sitting outside the building were a group of Muslim women who belonged to the organization known as the Murabitat, meaning the Sentinels. They see themselves as protectors of the mosque, and they raise their voices whenever religious Jews pass by. Two weeks ago, the Israeli defense minister declared the group illegal. But it continues its activities within eyesight of Israeli police. The visits of Jews to the mount are limited, but restrictions are occasionally placed on Muslim visits to the compound as well. During the Yom Kippur holiday, the entrance of Muslim males under 40 was prohibited, and there were complaints while we were there as well. They detained some girls over there and took their ID cards. They stopped them there and didn't let them in. After a few minutes, our cell phone cameras aroused the suspicions of the Waqf officials, who demanded we join a group of religious Jews. The men were escorted by a contingent of armed Israeli police, but also by Palestinian Waqf officials, seen here in the light blue shirts. The tension was palpable, a standoff, and one wrong word, such as a prayer, could ignite the situation. Our escorts remained suspicious and even filmed us filming them. As the group walked around the compound, they were heeded by the calls of the Murabitun, the male version of the Murabitat, who spotted their coming. During the tour, the authorities were noticeably nervous and eager to get things over with as quickly and as painlessly as possible, with no questions asked, both Israelis and Palestinians. As the Jewish men reached the end of the tour near the Dome of the Rock, they exited the compound walking backwards, refusing to turn their backs on the traditional site of the Jewish temples. Once outside, they again prayed and engaged in a ritual dance. Their visit completed without major incidents. Yes, and with me uh, right now here in the studio is correspondent Shai Ben-Ari. Good evening. Good evening. How did you feel as a Jewish man going to Al-Aqsa Mosque and getting into the Temple Mount? And it is supposed to be a place of uh, open religion. It's, mm -hmm. It is supposed to be the place where you are not supposed to be separated because of who you are. Right. And you get in and all eyes are on you and everybody's suspicious only because you're a Jew. Right. Uh, in, in our special situation, you could say they were suspicious also because they suspected us of being journalists, which we are. We didn't openly reveal ourselves to be uh, journalists, but that is what we were and still are. And of course, this was a very uh, special situation for me. Uh, for Personally, I can say that I have a very specific interest in the history of the area and the region. I couldn't really focus on my own personal interest here as we had a certain job to do and the, the focus was on the technical details, let's say. It was a very uh, complex challenge because we couldn't, as, as was mentioned in the 
recipes, actually bring in news cameras, television cameras to do the work as we usually do. We had to rely on cell phone uh, cameras. And that was enough to raise the suspicions of both the Waqf and the Israeli authorities, both of whom stopped us on several occasions and asked us all sorts of questions. We had to do a lot of explaining to sort of convince them uh, that we were not journalists. I'm not sure we actually succeeded, but they did eventually let us get on with what we were doing. <laughs> Uh, maybe both of them wanted, uh, both sides wanted uh, you to pass a certain uh, message. But uh, let's take you to the Waqf, uh, let's say, uh, this structure. For most of our viewers, they don't understand right. who are the Waqf exactly. So it's, let's try to again, explain Again, a very that. complex situation. We're talking about a very interesting body. Essentially, it, it derives its authority from the Kingdom of Jordan, basically. Uh, Jordan still retains a cer certain special status on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, despite the fact that the Israeli government uh, considers all of this territory its own, it does uh, recognize the special status of the King of Jordan as the custodian of the Muslim holy, holy places and is very careful to not uh, trample his authority and has a lot of respect to it. You can see there are always uh, uh, sort of talks between the Israeli authorities and, and the Jordanian ones when it comes to tensions yes. on the Temple Mount. And this body basically uh, derives its authority from the Jordanian ones. Indeed. You know, it's amazing because uh, there was always uh, some kind of a suggested solution about uh, the Temple Mount, about mm -hmm. uh, bringing some kind of an international force, international body that will make the two sides not get in there or make them uh, get in there in a peaceful way. And at the end of the day, it's Jordan who is maintaining right. the status quo for both sides, exactly. not only for one side. This is very interesting. Uh, Shabinari, thank you very, very no much for this.